Hi, I'm Danielle. I'm a Jewish educator living in Wrocław, Poland. Um, the book of Bamidbar talks about the time when the people of Israel are wandering the desert. They go through Mount Sinai to the land of Israel. And it's a long way. Um, and last week it actually became even longer. And in this long way, many things happen. And I would say that the main topic of the book of Bamidbar is leadership. Um, the nation puts up a lot of challenges. The, the nation itself challenges the leadership of Moshe. And one of the most famous conflicts that we know is actually in this parasha. It's the one with Korach. And Korach is Moshe's cousin. He's a Levi. He's a respected, wealthy man. And he would not accept the fact that in the hierarchy, Moshe and Aaron are the leaders. They're in charge. And he comes up with a claim that sounds very logical. And he's basically saying everyone is holy in the same level. Why do you think you're better than anyone else? And he co he gathers 250 people that demonstrates uh, with him against Moshe and Aaron's leadership. And at the end of this whole story, God performs miracles. And the most famous scene um, when God basically shows that Mo Moshe's leadership is his decision is when the ground just opens and swallows the opposition. And when I read these stories, it makes me think about the challenges that I face as a leader sometimes. And not only as a leader, as a mother, as a wife, as a woman, as an educator. And I can be very jealous of Moshe that the opposition, his opposition ends with a miracle and his opposition just disappears. And, but it's interesting to ask why? Where does this criticism come from? Because Korach is, is the elite. He's at the top. And you can ask, is it not enough for you to be number three, that you have to want to be number one? And you can say this could be jealousy or pride. But I read a really nice explanation that I think is relevant not only to this specific story of Korach, but also to our um, life. Because until a week ago in the parasha that we read, the people of Israel were very busy. They had a goal. They had a mission. They were on the way to the land of Israel. They needed to build the Mishkan. They needed to learn the Torah. And all of a sudden they get punished. They need to wait 40 years until they get to enter the land of Israel. And all of a sudden there's nothing to work on. There's nothing, you know, there's no challenge. And many times when people have nothing to do, they start to just in Hebrew, we say shtuyot. They just start to look for trouble. Um, and in this case, instead of focusing on the national and the bigger goal that they had, people start to think about their ego and start to fight. Um, and in the last few months, I think many people felt that their lives are on hold and that we need to wait so that life could go back to normal, to our routine. And it brings up the question, like, what drives us? What guides us? What are the things that make us wake up in the morning and do something? And what kind of leaders we are, first of all, to ourselves? Like, how do we lead ourselves? Um, a second explanation to this um, conflict is really ideological, because Koch says everyone is holy, everyone is equal, and Moshe doesn't agree with that. Moshe tells the whole nation, Kedoshim to you, you will be holy. Kedusha, holiness, it's not a, it's, it's not a something that just happens. It's, it's a destination. It's a goal. It's potential. And the equality between everyone is that everyone has an equal potential to be holy. Moshe is saying, you could be good. You should be good. And he demands something from his people. This is not being, uh, trying to say what people want to hear, this is real leadership, to put up a challenge, to put up a goal, and encourage people to get there. And in the, the, this week, when I was reading the parasha, um, I learned things that are relevant to, to the situation we are all in today. Um, because the opposite from boredom should be busy um, with positive activities, with positive actions. And we as leaders need to always point the direction that we want to get to and explain, always put it out there, why we are doing what we're doing. Um, we encourage the people to take part, to express themselves, to develop. And we have to keep doing that even when we don't always see the end of this journey or know exactly when and how this journey will end. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you.